Dear students, the next question is from NEET 2014 from the chapter Thermal Properties of Water. See the question. A certain quantity of water cools from 70 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. So, in the first five minutes, it is happening. And after that, again it is reduced to 54 degrees Celsius in the next five minutes. So, the temperature of the surrounding is constant. So, whenever we can compare it, that the temperature of the surrounding and the system temperature, immediately we remember that it is Newton's law of cooling. So, we know that Newton's law of cooling, that is, rate of loss of heat, that is, theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by time. So, rate of loss of heat is directly proportional to difference in the system temperature minus that is surrounding temperature. So, the rate of loss of heat is directly proportional to the difference between system temperature and surrounding temperature. So, if you observe here, you can write theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by t. You can include one constant, you can remove it the proportionality, that is k. Then after that, you can write theta 1 plus theta 2 divided by 2 minus theta 1. Okay. Now, first observe the first case, that temperature reduced from 70 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. So, it is a temperature, so initially it shows 70 degrees Celsius and it falls to 60 degrees Celsius in 5 minutes. So, which we apply 70 degrees Celsius minus, minus 60 degrees Celsius, then divide by the time factor is, let's take 5 minutes, then equal to again the k into 70 plus 60 degree divided by 2 the minus 70 temperature. So we can write 10 divided by 5, so that is equal to 2 is equal to then k into so 130 divided by 2 that is 65. 65 minus surrounding temperature. This is a diagonal equation number 1. Then the second case, again, in the next 5 minutes, the system temperature is reducing from 60, from 60 to 54 degrees Celsius. So, 54 degrees Celsius. So, the time duration, next 5 minutes. So, again, we approach the Newton's law of cooling. So, we can write, what about the theta 1? Theta 1 now in the second case is 60. So, 60 minus 54, then divided by next 5 minutes, so it is 5. Equal to, again k into, k into 60 plus 54 divided by 2 minus surrounding temperature. So, we can write 6 divided by 5 is equal to, then k into so 60 plus 54. So 114 divided by 2, that is a 57 minus 70 average. So this is taken as you can take as equation number 2. Now we can divide the equation number 1 by 2. So 2 divided by 2 divided by left side value, that is a 6 by 5. 6 by 5 and equal to so from the equation on 1 and 2 the k value constant value will be cancelled so the remaining thing 65 minus surrounding temperature then from the second equation 57 minus the surrounding temperature so we can say it's a 10 divided by 6 is equal to 65 minus theta naught divided by then 57 minus theta naught. So this is the right as again, it's a 5 by 3. So 5 by 3 is equal to 65 minus something temperature divided by 57 minus something temperature. 
Wait the next step. Come back here. Back four. Cross multiplication. So five into fifty-seven minus theta naught is equal to three into sixty-three minus theta naught. So here. Two fifty plus thirty five. That is two eighty five. Then minus five theta naught equal to here one ninety five minus three theta naught. So therefore, so all the theta naught can be written as so minus three theta naught plus five theta naught can be written as two times. Theta naught. Then 285 minus 195 can write as that is 90. Therefore, summing temperature is equal to 90 divided by 2 that is equal to 45 degrees Celsius. Okay. So now we can reduce the temperature from 70 to 60 degrees Celsius in the first five minutes. Again, in the next five minutes, it is reduced from 60 to 54 degrees Celsius in the next five minutes. So the surrounding temperature we can calculate by using the Newton's law of heat. So that is theta is equal to 45 degrees Celsius. That is surrounding temperature. So it will be matched with the option.